This is grace over grace. From the look of things, you can see some students put their trust in Apo. Others put their trust in their own intelligence. Others believe in the name of their schools. And some also think they can buy good grace with money. You see, a man of God, let me tell you something. I know most of them thought we came here to dance, but you see, it is very far from that. <laughs> we came to preach the message grace. So a man of God, I, I, I know some of the students will be asking by now, what is grace and what has grace got to do with us? You see, grace is the unconditional love towards a person who doesn't deserve it. Man of God, meaning that there could be someone here who does not deserve eight A's because they would think they did not write anything during the exam, but grace can give it to them. If you believe grace can give you eight days, say, I receive it. No, no, I didn't hear you say, I receive it. So let me tell you some advantages of grace. When grace follows you, it separates you, brings you out at the right time, and causes all of nature to work in your favor. And also, it lifts up the things the world struggles for and brings them at your feet. Okay, okay, man of God, tell me more. But until you become conscious of grace working in your life, it will not work. Once you become conscious of it, things begin to change. Grace beautifies your life. Uh, which means, man of God, grace can beautify their result as well. Things will begin to change in your result. Because right now you have finished writing, but by the grace of God, things will begin to change even if you wrote the wrong thing. Ah! I feel there is so much grace in this auditorium. And as you leave this place, your results will be changing. Your results will be changing. Oh, we see grace over the place. It's your ministers.